Hello everyone, welcome to another AOV Moonlight style video. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, in this video I mean, I'm going to show you the full guide of Zata. How to do his combo, how to do 4 dashes, 5 dashes, everything. Or about everything. I will explain it in this video. So make sure to watch, uh, to watch it till the end. And I'll also give you the build at the end as well. So let's start from his passive first of all. Every third normal attack would be enhanced, okay? Look at this. The third normal attack would be enhanced and would do more damage. Or it would be piercing, I can say. It will do additional damage. Uh, so, about his S1. S1, uh, his level 1, launches a missile on the path it would do damage and at the end it would explode and will do more damage at that point let me try it on town look it explodes at the end so simple about s2 level 2 if you use s2 it launches a cyclone and it will come to the place where you launch it okay at the point at uh, your position when you launch it it comes closer to that point okay i can say closer to you at that point because uh, when you stop okay and on the path it would do damage as well and would slow the enemy's movement speed as well so this is it now time for other his uh passive if you use two of his levels it can be dashes s1 is two dashes any of them when you use two of the dashes and when they hit each other when they touch each other and would do explode or it would do more damage at that point and your passive i told you about the piercing normal attack would be ready okay the enhanced normal attack would be ready at that point you can use it sometimes uh, heroes are so close to you the enemy how you can do more damage on them so use your s2 and when cyclones reaches the enemy use your s1 and would do ex uh, or it would explode at that point and would do more damage also your normal attack enhanced normal attack would be ready okay this is it now time for ultimate if you leave the joystick and you don't move if you touch on your ultimate the number three would appear on your head it shows that you can take now three dashes till you fly if you take that three dashes you will fly and that's it but if you move while moving your uh, if you use your uh, ultimate it will cancel because you're not touching anyone uh, your dash you, is not touching to enemy to the minion to the jungle and thing and it would cancel uh, okay let me explain at this point uh, now I'm talking about the three dashes use your ultimate once s1 and then dash s1 one dash s1 one dash if you can use your s2 as well doesn't matter any of your levels now uh, so simple three dashes so simple everyone can do and one another thing i want to tell you that these when you use ultimate with your s1 just using once you can complete your three dashes immediately you can take that dashes three dashes forward you will touch your level easily and then your ultimate would be activated because that missile goes on the way then forward and it explodes so it takes time so now about his uh, s2 if you use once and then use your ultimate what will happen okay uh, it was s1 so now for s2 use your s2 ultimate you do your three dashes forward and then your ultimate would be cancelled just like this because it didn't touch that your third dash your th third uh, stack didn't hit the s2 that's why you didn't fly now you can do two dash forward one dash backward you would hit your s1 and then you would fly this is so simple okay take a look now yeah, two dashes forward, one dash back, and you touch the levels, and then you fly. So now, uh, let me 
tell you about not going like not using your dashes immediately one by one ultimate you use your activate your ultimate use your s1 one dash again s1 one dash s1 one dash and then you will fly okay but if you i told you about uh you if your passive hits the enemy or the minion that your stack would increase okay from three to four if you do it once again it will increase to five just like that and that enhanced attack not normal attack let me tell you that now time for five dashes like look carefully i use my ultimate s1 one dash s1 one dash like that and between these dashes i have to use my passive on the enemy to just increase it to four or to five okay like before uh, taking the fourth dash to fifth dash if you want to uh, if i want to go five dashes i i have to i once hit the uh, enemy hero even the tower look even the tower if you use your passive on the tower it would increase your uh, dashes like now on the minion on uh, on this jungle again if you use your passive your enhanced attack it would increase your dashes to four if you use it again it would increase it to five so simple and now let me tell you one other thing about zata is that your fourth dash and your fifth dash doesn't have to hit the enemy okay it will fly if you did your second dash your third dash and if you want to if your fourth dash doesn't hit the enemy you will fly take a look at this uh, my now if I take my fourth dash I'm I have completed the three dashes my fourth dash I don't hit anyone just on the air I do my dash and then I fly okay take uh, keep that in your mind uh, even if I do the five dashes as well the fifth one if I don't uh, dash on the enemy I can fly um, now once again look and then here uh, I think I touched the turn let me do it again once again okay look at this and now my five three dashes is complete one dash four dashes is complete now and then one dash on the air the fifth one and then i fly because number five was written on my head so the last dashes that dash uh doesn't have to hit the enemy now let me complete my ultimate on him uh, without using my s1 s2 okay i use my piercing to just increase my dashes to four to five like this look one piercing more five dashes and this is it look um without even using my s1 s2 when he's so close to me I, I can do it a lot of possible ways now time for uh doing one shot the enemy i mean let me tell you let me show you if zata is max with his build and if the tank is also max tan is also max look at the items and builds this is my build this is his build everything is complete now you know he's also max i'm also max i will maximize his damage and we'll see if i can one shot him as well, uh, if i can sh uh, one shot 10 up or not look trying to use every s ones uh, s2 or normal it takes all of them i almost got him look how overpowered is zata and one thing i don't want to forget let me tell you that when zata's ultimate is on cooldown you can decrease the time of cooldown you can make uh, for a few seconds let me first use my ultimate right now yeah my ultimate is not ready right now i have 20 seconds to be ready now if i use my s1 s2 on enemy it decreases the cooldown did you see that once again look yeah for a few seconds or i can say three or four seconds it depends huh? so this was the full tutorial of zata still if you have any question if you still didn't understand any of his levels write a comment i will definitely reply all and then we'll see you next time in the next video don't forget to like and 
subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe yet. I will see you next time. Have a good time and bye.